Welcome back to the JSCAR Hawk channel. Today we're going to talk about the Steam Deck Deckmate accessory. So this is a system that you can go through to add on additional kickstands, batteries, or other things that you want to attach to either your Steam Deck or to your other electronic accessories. If you have access to a 3D printer, you can print your own. And that's what I went through and did first. So I got this in a blue PETG. I found a printables option from a dock compatible with Deckmate with micro SD card holder from coldfire0200 on printables.com. Printed it off with a brim and a little bit of supports on the overhangs. And then I'm grabbing my Steam Deck that we've had a previous video on here with adding skins. When we go to go through and attach this, you're gonna put it onto the far left and the far right top vents, and that'll hold it into place. And then you can very easily snap the bottom into place. And I think it pops pretty well with this color scheme. So now let's talk about the accessories and why I went with the 3D printed option. On the back, you can see that it's got larger space on the bottom versus the official one has just one bar in the center. So I wanted it so I can make sure I could still dock my Steam Deck inside of the official Steam Deck dock. There's a couple other docks that this would also work with as well. So including the JSAUX upgraded dock, so this plugs right in, no problem. So now I can have my accessories and still dock it. You can go through and print off your own accessories, which is what I did here. I did this in a PETG Space Gray from Overture. I was able to print these off without any supports and without any brim. Everything came off the board very easily. And I'm printing this all off on my Prusa Mark III KS. And from there, let's talk about if you don't want a 3D print. You can buy yourself an entire kit. So in that case, you can actually go to their site, which is called getmechanism.com, and you can either get it for the Steam Deck, you can get it for a couple other devices out there, or you can also get a universal kit. In this case, I went through and got the universal kit, and so I could go through and stack a few other items on top of it, or add this to iPads or anything else. So after we get this box open, we can go through and see what's all included with this option here. So from here, let's go ahead and dump everything out and let's go through what this kit came with. So in this case, we've got a kickstand is the first package which with these spring systems in the back, it's really cool because you can literally just shove it up into the outlet, it folds in and you're up and running just that simply. From there, we've also got a wall mount that we've got that we're pulling out here. You can either stick it to the wall with the sticky tape that's on the back or you can mount it with the anchors and screws. Then we have a couple of the different just universal adapters, one in white, one in black, and then We've also got two of the universal adapters or the mount, so you can go through and mount that on different items. Mount it on the wall, mount it on other items, and it looks like I got one more additional adapter, so then I can put that on something else. And then lastly, you've got the VESA mount with four M4 screws, so then you can also attach this to a screen mount. So pretty happy with this setup. We'll be going through more of how to use your Steam Deck as a daily Linux driver or the other things you can do with it other than just gaming. If you're interested in picking yourself up one of these, you can either find it at gitmechanism.com or I'll have a couple links below. With that, make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.